guys what's up I'm gonna go ahead and um, video response here to um, the all game videos deleted um, next gen tactics video and um, I just watched it it's been out for uh, about three days um, and I just I just have some comments on it that I need to get across um, I honestly feel that it's not the fault of the people putting it out on their channels it's the fault of Activision with these games, you know, games are getting really expensive. They're getting, you know, 60, 80 bucks. And, um, and people, you know, this economy, it's rough. People want to know what the game is going to be like. So when basic footage gets put out of, um, say, for instance, I, I personally have a leaked copy. I'm not going to lie. Um, I do have the game completely paid off in full. I do plan on purchasing it, and I believe that anyone that does have a copy of the game now should purchase it regardless of whether they like it or not, just because that does cost Activision and Treyarch that money. You know, I'm not all for piracy. I do pay for the games that I do download off the internet. Um, so first of all, now that I have that across, um, I think that if the developers and the publishers like Activision and Treyarch would have put out some kind of public beta or along the lines of more videos like the the recent video that they put out um, the launch day trailer I thought was garbage it was pretty short it just shows basic information and uh, and I really didn't care for it um, you know it, it just it's really really basic and it doesn't show a lot of information about the game you know there's people out there that don't have a ton of money that would like to purchase this game but they don't know whether it's going to be worth their while and especially after you know Modern Warfare 2 and the crap that's going on with that game I really don't blame them um, so I decided personally to make basic footage um, on my uh, my flashed Xbox uh, that I haven't taken online I haven't played online um, but basically just basic footage um, kind of me circling around a map um, shows some of the customization menus and stuff like that very basic stuff um, and and you know gave the positives of the game as well as a couple negatives that I thought um, and it got taken it got taken down then um, 15 minutes from when I posted it um, it was taken down let me remind you that my channel is very very small I only have um about 21 subscribers and um like think 9000 upload views if that um but basically my video was taken down um here's exactly what they wrote down uh, and I got this from YouTube and I honestly think it's bullshit um th yeah the game is leaked out early um you know about 5 days before it comes out but still people people should know what they're getting themselves into especially the people that are running out and you know getting the eighty dollar hundred fifty dollar version that is a lot of money and for some people they have to work a really long time for that um, I honestly think that you know Activision and Treyarch have kind of this closed door um, feel to them to where they're not letting anything out and they should let stuff out because my video was more along the lines of promoting Black Ops as a really decent game it shows the in and outs how it's so much more improved over Modern Warfare 2 and right then and there they shut it down the only complaint I had was that the guns feel cheap the pistols feel cheap and the guns feel cheap and the map feels cheap but other than that everything else was fine it's still a very very great game um, I've played through about three quarters of the campaign honestly very very fantastic um, but yeah it's it's just honestly really frustrating and I completely understand where um, Guns for Hire I think it was um, with Next Gen Tactics was talking about um, but I believe that people should have you know the right to see what they're gonna pay for and not kinda go around this corner blind because games are getting to where they're becoming um, an investment more than anything just because all the games are coming out at once you know you've had Fable 3, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Medal of Honor, Halo Reach all within the last two months 60, 80 bucks a pop that's a lot of money um, especially you know there's the casual gamers that really like these games um, that you know don't really have the money to shell out um, but they get them anyways just because they're a fan of video games they like being able to help out um, the developer and promote the games, you know, make montages, commentaries, so on and so forth. 
Um, but basically, that's just how I feel. I don't think that, you know, accounts should be getting striked for uh, just very basic footage. Um, when you're spoiling campaigns and walking in through zombie modes, I think that's a little bit too much. Uh, just because that might actually hurt sales. But when it comes to very basic menus, uh, kind of running through the customization and some of the kill streaks and stuff like that, I really don't think it should hurt anything and that um, that there should be a problem with it. Um, but anyways, enough with my rant. Um, I'm going to have a new video coming up on top of this one. And uh, I'm going to make this as a video response um, to this video on Next Gen Tactics and also post it on my channel. Um, and then I'm going to have a new video about Activision and how I feel and what I think should change. Um, but that's it for now, guys. Please register at thegamingexperts.com and rate, comment, and subscribe.